my name is Mimi Stillman, Artistic and Executive Director of the Dolce Suono Ensemble. I'm here with composer Benjamin C.S. Boyle. We're going to talk a little bit about his new work commissioned by Dolce Suono, uh, which we premiered in February and which we're about to give another performance of on April 14th at the Moore College of Art and Design. His work, Sonata Cantilena for Flute and Piano, was commissioned for our Samuel Barber Centennial Project. And the Sonata for Flute and Piano, it reflects on Samuel Barber's music. So I just wanted to ask you, Benjamin, um, in what ways were you influenced by Barber? That's a good question. Uh, in many ways, in many myriad different ways. Uh, I grew up listening to the music of Samuel Barber, especially focusing on his songs and uh, a couple of the larger works, the Prayers for Kierkegaard, the Piano Concerto, and of course the famous Adagio, and always grew to respect the way that he set the English language so beautifully and so simply, uh, in, in, in the but still within the tradition of, of French art song and German art song and, and all the, the, the varied sources that he had. And uh, of course he also is close to home here in Philadelphia, and it was also kind of a local influence as well, of which we don't have a great number of them historically, so that was quite nice. Uh, and of course, that influence translated very well into writing for the flute. Um, the flute and the voice are very similar in construction in terms of how composers deal with these instruments. And so uh, it was actually quite simple to make that transition. Well, it was great when we were playing some flute music together. Of course, you're a great pianist as well as composer, and uh, we focused a lot on the music I love, the French repertoire, Debussy, Poulenc. Mm -hmm. This flute voice connection that you mentioned is very strong, which is why I arranged Debussy songs in a collection mm -hmm. published by Presser. Um, how did that specific connection translate into your piece, and particularly tell us about the title of your piece. Happily so. I mean, you mentioned Poulenc songs uh, and Poulenc music in general. Poulenc, of course, wrote a very famous sonata for flute, of which the second movement, of as you very well know, is, is titled Cantilena. Um, and I always adored that, that piece, and especially that movement in particular. And so I wanted, at the same time as paying homage to Barber, to also give a nod to Poulenc in this way and, and write a Cantilena of my own. Uh, but instead of setting it as just a single movement inside of the larger work, to kind of infuse the entire work with that essence of what cantilena is going to mean. Mm -hmm. Well, two things are particularly exciting about this performance. Um, the first is that, as you know, art students at Moore College have created artworks in a variety of media uh, inspired by your piece. That's very exciting. Very excited to see that. And it's going to be a kind of unusual concert slash exhibition. Definitely. So we will see those works. And then Charlie Aramovic, pianist, and I are also looking forward to recording your piece this summer. Excellent, as am I. I'm really excited to have the opportunity to work with Dolce Swanson. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you, Benjamin. Mm -hmm. Please join us on April 14th.